Well, turning now to the coronavirus pandemic in our state, the health department reports more than 500 new cases in 24 hours. That brings the total to more than 122,000. But the good news is the positivity rate keeps trending downward. Now, this comes as schools across Maryland continue to deal with the challenges of this pandemic. Baltimore County has reversed its decision to bring teachers back into the classroom next month as the head of city schools talks reopening classrooms amid layoffs. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live in East Baltimore. He spoke to the city school CEO about the challenges ahead. Mike? Denise, and she told me about a big announcement coming up next week when city schools are going to partner to open 15 in-person learning centers. It's a way to bridge the divide and help students with their virtual lessons during this difficult year. We are prioritizing whenever we come back, coming back well and coming back safely. Baltimore City School CEO says the virtual start to this unprecedented school year has been fairly smooth. I've heard from a number of families who really can see the change in the learning and the schooling experience. Gradually bring the kids back. I mean, but the governor is increasingly pressuring school systems to open for in person instruction, with many teachers fighting back, citing safety concerns. There's no disagreement um, that the best place for young people to be is back in school. We just have a commitment to do it safely. In Baltimore, Dr. Sonia Santelis has made the difficult decision to lay off more than 400 temporary employees, including teachers, because of dire financial predictions. There is a cost to opening schools safely. There's a cost to PPE. As of right now, myself and many others have to approach things like October 2nd will be our last day. One of those laid off teachers told me this week he's worried about the impact on students and hopes he can come back. We're essential. We we're not something to toss away. In Baltimore County, the superintendent abruptly reversed a decision to bring teachers back inside classrooms next month. There is pressure to get as many students in the classroom as possible. Unions representing teachers and support staff fought the surprise move, threatening legal action. A small number of students with disabilities will head back to class in November, but there are no large scale plans to bring back entire grades this year as previously announced. We are very confident that moving forward, those decisions will be made uh, with all of our input and not as a surprise. The governor announced yesterday that high school sports can return again, but it's up to local school systems, and many are still trying to decide how to handle that. Baltimore County Superintendent says he hasn't made a decision yet, but expect one soon. Live in East Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.